how to completely destroy your fear of public speaking. Hi everyone, my name is Coach Mahadev and I have three tips for you to destroy that fear. Stick around for point number three because that is going to be the big game changer. Point number one and that is to be familiar. Familiar with what? Familiar with your people, place and presentation. Do you actually take the time to familiarize yourself with your audience? Do you know who they are that's gonna be sitting in the audience room? If you do, that's great because that way you don't get to feel so nervous because you're speaking to a bunch of people that you've already seen and met. But what about the place? Have you gone to the place earlier to rehearse, to practice? Because doing so will give you an advantage. You won't feel like you're stepping on somewhere foreign. Because as they say, the more comfortable you are, the more confident you get. So get to know the place well. Which leads me to the final part of your familiarity, which is your presentation. The question is, how much time and effort do you put in to rehearse your presentation? Do you do it once before your presentation? Twice? Three times? How many times in a week do you do it before your presentation? Or is the actual presentation the first time you're giving that presentation? Because if that's the case, then chances are you will feel nervous. So if you familiarize yourself with the people, place and presentation before giving that presentation, chances are you will reduce that level of nervousness. Now, if you're liking this so far, why not drop a like and of course subscribe to this channel so more people will be able to see how they can get rid of their fears. Moving on to point number two, and that is shifting of your mindset. Now, what does this mean? When you're up on stage giving that presentation, most of the time, we are thinking about us, myself, me, I. And when you think about those things, chances are you're gonna mess up a lot because you'll be thinking about things like, am I gonna mess up? Am I gonna look bad in front of people? Am I gonna this? Am I gonna that? Am I gonna be a laughing stock? And when this is your priority and your main focus on stage, then, well, you will get nervous. But what about this perspective? Shift your mindset. Instead of a me focus, shift it into a you focus, an audience focus. Be the messenger on stage. Focus on giving the speech the best way that you possibly can. The one thing that you want to remember is that the people in the audience, they are there to listen to something that they could potentially bring home and could potentially learn, change their life or do something with your message. So if your focus is just about me, 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 then obviously you're gonna mess up. You're gonna feel nervous. But if you switch that mindset into the audience, you will feel a little bit more relaxed, a little bit more fun in that matter because you want to get this message across in the best way that you know how. Now, the moment you've been waiting for, point number three, and that is constant exposure. So what does this mean? Now, have you ever experienced this before? Where maybe you take a bit of a melatonin pills to sleep well. The first night you take it, bam, you could fall asleep easily. The next night you take it, it takes a little bit longer to fall asleep. And the subsequent nights you take it, it takes longer to fall asleep. Have you ever wondered why? Now, the reason behind this is because our body adapts to the situation. Our level of tolerance gets better and better the more we are exposed to something. That's why some people who drink alcohol reportedly say that it takes more alcohol to get them tipsy or even drunk. So what this means is, can you expose yourself to more speaking events, to more speaking gigs? If you're working for an organization, could you volunteer yourself to speak up more? If not, maybe you'd like to join an organization like Toastmasters, which allows you to keep practicing, keep refining your speeches, and of course, your confidence. And I assure you, the more times you go on stage, the more times you get that stage time, the better your confidence gets. So these are the three things that help me, and I hope that it helps you, to destroy your fear of public speaking completely. Now, of course, if you wanna know how to engage your audience, to get them to be part of your presentation and make them say, wow, to your speech, click on the link above.